what would happen to the planet if humans suddenly vanished? It's no secret that regular human activity leaves a carbon footprint conspicuously imprinted into the serene landscape of the Earth. A modern person's typical day includes rising out of bed, cooking breakfast, walking the dog, driving to work, reading the newspaper, browsing the internet, and working jobs which help build more houses, cars, and commodities for an ever-increasing population. All of these regular human activities have the unfortunate side effect of polluting the atmosphere with toxic gases and littering oceans and seas with chemicals, plastic, and other garbage. Many modern humans cram into large cities which require concrete, sewage, and chemical emission to function, all the while inadvertently damaging nature. We have heard this line of thinking again and again. It would almost seem as if the Earth would be better off if humanity were to simply vanish. Let's think about that for a moment. What if people were to cease existing at all? What if all people in an instant simply disappeared? What would happen to our planet in this case? We will discuss this in today's release. But before we begin, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. That being said, let's begin. Our world is in constant motion, with people driving cars, operating airplanes, and other various vehicles. If all people on Earth suddenly vanished, then all the vehicles would stop. Or would they? For a few moments, the cars would continue their movement and would ultimately end up in numerous collisions. Airplanes would fly until they ran out of fuel and would eventually crash into the ground. Other vehicles, such as construction cranes and drills, would continue their work until an obstacle prevented them from going any further. Within a few hours, there would be massive accidents. Without people, industrial stations like nuclear power plants would stop working. This would affect myriads of city lights, and after a few hours, the electric lights would flicker out. Only hydroelectric power stations would work, as they can produce energy for months and even years without human participation. In the coming hours, after the disappearance of people, metro underground infrastructures would be flooded since the water pumps for subways are all controlled by people. Additionally, we should talk about nuclear power plants. Nuclear fuel contained in power plants is stored in special tanks in which a certain temperature is maintained. Without people at nuclear power plants, system malfunctions would occur that would cause an emission of radiation into the atmosphere and therefore result in powerful radioactive pollution worldwide. There is also a chance that due to improper storage of fuel in the rods, it would cause a fire that would entail explosions at nuclear power plants. All animals and plants that would happen to be in the fallout zone would immediately perish. Also, it is worth mentioning that in the normal state, chemical factories producing hazardous chemicals need electricity and control provided by human workers. If people disappeared and electricity disappeared, then the chemical plants also would likely be affected with massive explosions, which would release chemicals and radioactive elements into the atmosphere. Indeed, it would provoke a nuclear winter. Without electricity, sewage facilities would stop working and ultimately, untreated sewage water would flow into rivers and lakes, leaving them horribly polluted, thus endangering the life within the lakes as well as the animals that depend on the water for drinking. If people suddenly disappeared, then all the refineries would soon explode, as they are quite dangerous even when full-time employees are present. Finally, the malfunctioning of different factories and the industrial station's excessive ion concentration in various harmful metals would lead to the pollution of soils around the world. These events would occur in the first days and weeks after the disappearance of people. But that wouldn't be all. Let's look further. After the disappearance of people, the world would be left with animals, insects, and plants. Domestic animals would have to forage through food containers until all the food remaining in refrigerators and store shelves spoiled. An astounding number of pet deaths would be inevitable, as many of them would be trapped in their homes. For those pets able to escape their houses and apartments, life would last a few days longer. They would venture out into the concrete jungle of the empty city or into the wilderness of a more rural suburb and country areas. However, most of the house pets would not be able to adapt to life without the care of humans. Besides, without human activity to discourage the wildlife, big cities would soon be filled with wild animals. A few years after the human vanishing, the animal population would likely change. Once domesticated animals would have to adapt to the wild, electric fences would no longer have electricity in them and therefore would no longer deter lions, bears, and other animals from roaming into the cities. 
Imagine an estimated 1 billion pigs, a half billion cows, and 20 billion hens would be left to either starve to death or become prey for other animals. Also, just two weeks after the disappearance of people in the Pacific Ocean, from Japan to California, there would accumulate a half million tons of garbage that would lead to a giant garbage spot. In a few months or years after the sudden disappearance of people, the cities and the whole earth would begin transforming and adapting to new conditions. Most cities would become overgrown with trees and other plants. No people would be around to sweep the roads. Emerging weeds would turn into full-fledged clover fields. Moss and creeping plants would stretch across the roads. In fact, the land would gradually begin to revert to its primal state, the state it was in before there were any humans at all. Trees and plants would drive their roots deep into the foundations of many buildings. During thunderstorms, lightning would strike the city trees, which would result in unquenchable fires that have no one to put them out. Devastating fires would wipe out many small towns and villages. Such fires would also cause significant harm to such major metropolis areas like Chicago, San Francisco, and Rome. The coal would release a huge amount of nitrogen into the atmosphere. The result would be the absorption of the city ruins by trees and other flora. The grounds would certainly be overgrown with plant life, but what about the heavens? Let's not forget that many satellites would eventually fall from orbit. Within a few months after the human disappearance, the heavens would shower a kind of satellite rain. And three years after a sudden human disappearance, the International Space Station itself would crash down upon the Earth. Cars and other metal objects would begin to gradually rust. First paint and anti-corrosion materials would start to peel off, and then the vast majority of leftover machines would completely dissolve into a rusty trough. Nevertheless, some metal objects would still retain their chemical and physical properties over time. Thirty years after the disappearance of people, the Earth would take on a completely different look. For such a long period of time without maintenance, the state of the majority buildings would begin to deteriorate rapidly and would eventually collapse into ruins. Naturally, disasters would still occur on across the globe. Therefore, tornadoes, hurricanes, and storms would also destroy many buildings without humans to repair or rebuild. Regarding marine life, it would probably bounce back because there would no longer be the problem of overfishing. Most likely, the fish populations would revive in the oceans, and their numbers would equal what they were thousands of years ago. Most skyscrapers located in cold climate areas would gradually collapse as rainwater would freeze on their roofs, forming cracks and compromising the building's structural integrity. After a few decades, there would be no buildings at all on the Earth except perhaps several skyscrapers. Planet Earth is a place where the environment is constantly changing. With no people over the course of a couple centuries, abundant industrial carbon dioxide gas would dissipate, leading to a cooling of the atmosphere. The atmosphere would possibly become glacial, permitting only a hardy few species of animals and plants to survive. The fact that bromine and chlorine would no longer enter the atmosphere would cause the structure of the ozone layer to change. Also, the level of ultraviolet radiation would decrease. Within two centuries, all the man-made dams built on the planet would crack and gush, sending forth rivers and fresh water into the briny oceans, altering the chemical composition of coastal waters. As a result, the state of the oceans and seas would likely revert to what it was millions of years ago. After 200 years, all man-made buildings would rust and decompose. However, on the ground, there would remain traces from the lives of people who used to live here. In a few millennia, there would be no such traces at all. With this release, we hope to show you the profound environmental impact of humans. Even though our planet has experienced certain negative effects from human activities, it is worth remembering that the Earth is our home. Therefore, let's treat it and all its living things, even the humans, with love. That's it for this release. Please write in the comments section what other significant changes you think could happen over the next hundred years. We value your opinion and are always interested in your comments.